We have newly acquired reliever Win Pelzer here. Uh, when, how'd you first find out about the trade uh, with from Miguel Tejada? Uh, I was at um, on the field or in BP actually yesterday, and the manager called me in the office with our scouting director and um, minor league coordinator and told me about the trade that happened yesterday. Uh, was it sort of a surprise to you? Had you heard your names in the trade talks before? Uh, I hadn't heard my name, but I kind of had a feeling, you know, because I got moved to the bullpen about two weeks ago, so I figured that was more like an audition, you know, for other teams to see me as a reliever. So I had a feeling, but you know, it was kind of surprising. That is a role you're going to continue with here in Bowie, right? Oh, uh, that's uh, that's the idea that I've gotten from the other manager, and you know, so I'll just you know do whatever you know they tell me to do, you know, whenever they give me the ball. Now you spent the previous few years with the uh, Padres. I mean, your entire professional career with the Padres. How difficult was it for you to leave that organization and come, you know? I was pretty hard, you know. I played with a lot of those guys for a better part of three years, so you know, it's like a family over there. So, but you know, it's part of the business, so I just have to, you know meet new people over here. You know, I'm sure it'll be a wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. And you're traded for Miguel Tejada. How sort of cool is that to be traded for a guy, a former uh, most valuable player? Uh, I mean, that's that's pretty cool. You know, I keep hearing, you know, get traded straight up for an MVP, you know, obviously the Orioles, you know, think I have some talent, you know, and I don't, you know, I want to come over here and try to contribute. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you know about the Orioles organization? Are you familiar at all with any of the players and, and, and the teams at all? Uh, yeah, uh, some of them, you know, just of course, you know, the Cal Ripken history, you know, stuff like that. You know, he's one of the best players ever, you know, just... Just little tidbits here and there, you know. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten a chance to familiarize yourself with any of the guys in there yet? Uh, I talked to a few guys in there. You know, I'm still, you know, trying to work on the names and everything. So it's the first day. I'm just trying to, you know, get settled in and, you know, trying to find some sort of comfort that way. Gotcha. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your arsenal? I've, you know, I've read reports. You have a fastball, maybe the high 90s, a uh, hard slider. Can you just tell us a little bit about it? Uh, I mean, I'm a fastball slider, you know, change up guy. You know, basically I just try to, you know, keep the ball down, get guys to hit on the ground. You know, now if I get ahead of him, you try to, you know, go after him with my slaughter, you know, my change up depending on, you know, who's in the box. Just try to attack hitters, you know, just go right after them. Mm -hmm. Do you feel, I mean, you've been in a relief role now for a few weeks, but do you feel like you have more of a future in the pen as opposed to being a starter? Uh, probably, you know, probably just because, you know, I, I mean, like, I try to command my fastball as best I can, you know, but I'm not consistent enough to be a starter, you know, and I'll be the first to admit that, you know, but it's probably where I'll probably end up, you know, finishing the rest of my career out, you know. Mm -hmm. When you say you're not consistent as a starter, is that more of a repeating mechanics sort of thing? I use something like that. You know, it's just it's just trouble locating the fastball. You know, it's just one of those things you have to fight through. I have to fight through as a pitcher. So. Okay, well, welcome, Wayne. Thanks Thank a lot. You.